Well, Dave, what a night. What is the overriding emotion that you're feeling right now? Um, really proud, a little bit disappointed. Um, but as you say, a, a great night that unfortunately didn't have the dream ending, but that doesn't take away from the fact that um, it was a, a special atmosphere, um, a, a great game to be involved in. We'll learn an awful lot from it. And we have to use that as a as a springboard now for the for the weekend. So, like I say, as a as a group, we'll take an awful lot out of that. Um, a brilliant effort. Uh, unfortunately, um, the the jeopardy of penalties let us down this time. Leicester City finished with a hundred and seventy three million pounds worth of talent on the pitch. There, you should feel massively proud tonight, and the players should as well. Yeah, listen, we we knew that coming into this that we'd have to set up in a, in a certain way. We had. 9,000 people right at our backs and um, unfortunately we weren't, because tactics will tell you, we weren't able to go toe to toe with them for, as, for longer periods but we knew that at some point we'd have to make it a game, whether it was the fact that we were behind or, or chasing the game or we just felt that, like I say, with 20 minutes to go, let's go and have a, let's go and have a go and let's make it and, and the atmosphere then went went through the roof, which means it's a little bit open and we had to defend and we have to ride our luck a little bit. I thought we defended brilliantly. Um, emergency stuff, blocks, all those bits and you need a little bit, of, like I say, a little bit of luck, which you potentially get at times, but super proud of, of, of what they've done. But we, we have to, like I say, we have to use that as a, uh, and take the real positives from it. It's, it, it's a great night um, with, like I say, a slightly, Disappointing ending. They had to bring on a Josip Perez and James Madison to try and counter what you were doing to them. Um, but you must be proud tactically. You mentioned the way that you set up today. Was it to defend for as long as you possibly could and just stay in the game for that yeah, 70, we, we, 75 minutes? We didn't want to be that deep, mm. to, to be honest. We, we knew that the way they worked the ball, that the threats were going to be in behind. So we wanted to defend that space in behind. I thought that in the first half, even when we did pick the ball up, we, we, we probably had the ball three times in the first 10 minutes and we gave it away each of those three times. So we need to be better. And sometimes when you, you set up with a, it is negative con containing sort of game plan, yeah. there, there's a there's a tendency to go solely defend, defending. We needed our three centre backs to have an intent to get on the ball and, and, and try and try and play. Otherwise the ball was going to keep coming back, which it did for like say for large, large parts. Um, in terms of, game plans and things like this and the, the, the players take all that we, we've had to we worked for 20 minutes half an hour in terms of what we're asking to do there's, there's different pitches out there what you have to do is you have to be organized you have to communicate you have to work hard they've done all of those things and that's given us a chance to um to, to go and win a football match against the premier league team and and they will undoubtedly uh, have, have enjoyed the evening. For some of them, it's the first time that they've seen this place like, like this. It's a, it's a special place we want, and they should want more and more of that. Um, and hopefully that's the first of lots of special nights this season. One or two fans said to me before the game day, when they saw the team line-up, they said, oh, we're not, we're not going with the first choice 11, leaving out Paddy Madden, leaving out Sars, th those kind of things. Is that because the league is still the bigger priority for you, or is it not to do with that? Yeah, no, a bit, bit of both. Um, we have... Certainly, our next four games, including tonight, we've we've got a, a, a important game on on Saturday against, against Swindon. We've then got a Papa John's game. We've got another another league game. So players will will get opportunities. Players have been crying out for opportunities, and I, like I say, I said over the first month, people would get would get chances, and I'm going to be I'm going to be true to that because they're all good enough to play. We, we and uh, have the the luxury of having a really strong squad. It's difficult to pick um, pick a team. I don't think we've really settled down as of as of yet in terms of in terms of team selection largely because of little mistakes that um has affected confidence and belief a little bit um so we have to like I say we have to look at it we have to get some cons some consistency and, and continuity in terms of the team what we're picking but we've got a we've got a strong squad and i think that showed in terms of the lads that have gone out there and tonight and performed in the circumstance we have that um We've just got to keep believing in what we're what we're doing, um, and we can absolutely be competing in, the, in this division, which is massively important for us. Just finally, a word on the fans tonight because they played a, a huge part this evening. I felt, and Brendan Rodgers very graciously applauded them when he came off as well tonight, and that was great to see. They were amazing, absolutely amazing. Ah, listen, I continue to say it. They always they have been since since I've came here. Um, I, I feel that this season we've not given them enough moments, and that, that comes from listen, they're in tight games. So that comes from not winning games. Um, and you're always going to feel like that a little bit. 
So t- tonight was a different one because, like I say, I- I'd love to have gone toe to toe with them um, straight from the start. But the sensible side here says that if that would have happened, then we could have got picked off. Um, and what we what we did do is we we made that last twenty minutes when they were maybe sort of dropping off a little bit, we made it exciting for them and they were absolutely amazing. Um, and they're the nights we, we want here. Well, they've been, like I say, they've been, they've been brilliant. We owe it to them to produce those type of performances. I wouldn't say we've been miles off, but we just haven't got the results with it that, we've, um, that we've wanted to, to, to start with. Um, and we've got to turn that around. That starts on, starts on Saturday. This place, again, will be a, there'll be a carryover from, from tonight in terms of Saturday. We've got to, Go and give them some some special some special moments, and I, I I really believe we can. Well, you've given them one tonight. Well done. Thanks, John.